Hey everybody, this is Andy here, AK Montoli, and we are back for round four of a Vintage League. I'm playing Hogak Vine, and I played this person the other day. They were playing Oath of Druids, so this could be a tough matchup for us. All right, we did win the die roll, which is a great start. This hand looks okay. One of the things I've noticed about Hogak Vine is it doesn't have the same explosivity, at least in your opener as hollow vine because there's so many more root wallas. So first things first, let's let's see what we can get with this once upon a time here. So we didn't do too well. We got a Benjavine though, I guess. That's something. It's good discard equity. Okay. Well I think we've got a pretty good setup next turn. because we're going to be able to pitch the root walla and hopefully cast the death right. Now, if we have to use our force of vigor, that is going to impact that line because we're not going to have enough stuff to do all the things we'd like. So unfortunately for us, if that's the case, we could be in some trouble, but we'll see. Another option is, is we don't worry about the oath and we just try and deploy in a, a Hogak. I mean, we should be able to do a whole gack next turn and get our Benjamines going. We would discard three. Okay, wow, they're just passing. That's great for us. Oh, that was nice. Well, let's draw a couple and see what we can do here. Now we're going to discard Root Walla. We can discard once upon a time. And I think we can discard Hogak here. We can probably do it all here if they don't have a counter spell. So we're going to bring back the Ghast. And we're going to get our Vines into play here. Let's see what we can get off our uh, stitcher here. One, two, three, four, five. So that ends up looking pretty good for us. I mean, let's get in for a couple damage here. There is eight incoming. So my opponent must have something like an abrade, perhaps. Bolt, okay. Perfectly reasonable. Let's try and get a Gak into play. This probably will fetch a force, I suspect. Yeah. Sorry about that. I just finished a prelim with Hogak Fine, and unfortunately for me, I ended up going 2 2, but I was able to pick up uh, some QPs. I got ruined by Rug in the, in the round four, and I can't really remember what I played in round one that I lost to. Um, okay, I think this is fine. I mean, we've got a pretty good offense going here. I'm not going to bother with the mocks. Sure, if they play a Dark Fade in it, it doesn't feel that good, but we will blow up their my my hollow one and uh, their mocks if they do that. Not seeing a lot of lightning bolts in vintage right now. Shattering spree, okay, sure. Once upon a time. Okay, so I'm going to Bizarre here again. So what do we think? 
I think I'm going to get rid of these Forest of Vagors and I think the Once Upon a Time. I'm going to play a Deathrite Shaman and then we are going to play another Hogak. And one more. We will do the. We make up for the damage that we tapped out for here, and hopefully Hogak resolves this time. And we are going to... Okay, they've conceded. Okay. Well, that felt like... I mean, Saturn Speed, like, that kind of felt like a Jeskai matchup, to be honest. I'm not really sure it is Jeskai, though. Like, what did I see there? I saw, saw Shattering Spree... In the force, I didn't really see much from them to be honest. I don't think I need to deviate too much. Like, normally, what I do against Jeskai is I'll bring in some ley lines and some swords. I don't mind that approach. I mean, we can try it. Blood gas seemed pretty good there. Let's try something like this. Going on a hunch that this is best guy. And maybe I shouldn't. Like, I'm trying to even think, like, what decks would main deck a, a Shattering Spree? And I know that Jess guy is a deck that has done that in the past. I did not see a white source. Maybe I'm being a little too overzealous here. At the last minute there, I chickened out. <laughs> but I wasn't able to get the Ley Lines into my deck. That's okay. This looks like a keep to me. You know, if they have a turn one needle or something. I mean, it's not the end all be all for us anyways, but. I don't even honestly know if I would respond to it. Preordain is fine. I don't know what it is. I just feel like this is just guy. The Shattering Spree is the thing that pointed me to it. Of course, lots of different decks can play Shattering Spree main. So one top, one bottom. Well, let's see if we can actually get the Vengevine going here. And we can, wow. Oh no, we can't, because it's a black, mo uh, green mox. Oops. Yeah, we'll do this. I don't feel like I need to show the mox here. And in a pinch, I, if I have to pitch the root wall, I will do it. Okay, my opponent's doing something here. Arcanist, so I was correct. Okay. So we did, we did guess right here. There's my ley line. Well, let's get that out of here. Now I'm a little bit worried about Doc Faden. I shouldn't have done that. That that was a mistake on my part. I should have played my Stitcher first. I guess it didn't really matter, to be honest with you, now that I think about it. But I am going to see if we can get a Hogak going here. Or do I just keep him off Doc Faden? I think I'm going to do that. I think against my better judgment, I'm going to take him off Doc. And I'm going to get my beat down going here. Sure, they can Shattering Spree or remove my Hollow One or whatever be it, but. And I mean, if they want to. Ooh, that was a good draw for them. Shucks. Because I was hoping to avoid getting hit with a DAC, but not much I could do about that. 
What is this? Time walk. Yeah, okay. Are they going to not play a land? Okay, nice. I wish we could, I would force a vigor their mocks there if I had the ability to do so. And the way I've set it up, I can't do it. Not sure I've played this one optim optimally. But if I can hold that uh, Dreadhorde back for another turn, it's very good for me. Brainstorm, okay. I'm not sure how that makes me feel. I mean, I, I think it's low probability they're going to hit a DAC here. But Brainstorm's a scary card for sure. Maybe they've locked themselves. Okay, took a long time to, to resolve that, but okay. They digging here? Boy, would that ley line and play be nice, huh? Thing in the ice, how interesting. Okay. Don't see them coming in here. They are. They just want to get TT going. Okay. Well, I can't stop that. Ley line sure would look good here, though. I 100% I will side this in next time. We're just going to have to plow in and try and try and beat them fairly. The problem is, is that this thing attacking in is really scary. But let's see what we can do here. I've still got a potential bizarre activation. Well, we're going to make a trade-off here. Or not a trade-off, I'm going to kill it. And do everything in my power to get some damage through here. Let's see what we can find, guys. Ooh, Vine's nice. Let's If we can hit a Hogak here, this is really big game for us. They might force trying to get their thing going closer here. And they did not. Gak. We got a Gak. And that's going to bring another vine back potentially. They got the force? No. And this missed up could be really solid against them. We'll see. One life, no block. All right. Let's see if we can get this deck to 4 0 here. I'm going to missed up this, guys. I really want them to, to stifle their ability to dig. They've got two mana left. Sure, they might have enough to be able to do TT, but... Yeah. All right. There's nothing we can do here. We just got to pray they don't have it. And they do. All right. But that's not going to be enough, guys. Unless they can get rid of my, my bizarre... If they have, they can get rid of my bizarre. It is. Yeah, easy game. 
Remember, hit that like and subscribe button, guys. See if we can get the 5-0.